me, Living Squad, I'm back for another video, and today we're actually finally doing one that was suggested in my stream. I've been getting lots of people asking me to do video tutorial Minecraft buildy type videos, and while I don't particularly feel like at the moment I'm ready to do tutorials on exact builds, I am ready to give you guys the tips you need to start making some great builds of your own. So, without further ado, I say let's get into the first episode of I'm not really quite sure what I'm going to call this, build school, build help, build tips, I'm not sure, we'll go with some sort of a build school for now, so let's jump in. Uh, anyway, step one is to think of an idea, um, a theme for your build, uh, anything. Right now behind you here I've got this little castle design, um, just here there's nothing to it it's literally just a two second build that i built just to show you guys some stuff that you can build now i also have in this chest are a bunch of different themes that you might want to build in a, a castle being one of them a house just of any sort a farm there's also shops that you could build in like a survival smp server or um in just my survival world that i've got going currently with the series and that uh, and there's also a zoo for you to keep all the mobs and all the animals and horses and sheep and stuff in, in your game and such and that's just scratching the surface like uh, of course there's uh, that's a castle over there that's supposed to be a castle over there then there's museums and there's tons of other different ideas that you could just go with um, anyway step two is to make a layout of your build um, now Usually uh, you do a layout with a different color of wool or just any block for that matter and the layout is just the part of the build where you kind of make sort of an idea for an outline of what your build's going to be um, and right now I'm just going to go with a basic sort of a square type design with a little bit of a, a tiny nook out the back here and um, we'll just um, make this up. Uh, like that and uh, of course you don't have to use red wool like I am right now you can uh, use yellow wool orange wool in any block for that matter uh, is good for making a layout and of course with layouts as well that you can use separate um, colored walls to um, uh, plan out like interiors and stuff like that like um, like I'm doing right here now just to show you guys as an example like um, I can lay out this yellow wool for example could be like interior stuff that will change on the inside and then this orange wool here um, could be like um, outside design that changes with the house as you, as you build more uh, onto it. So um, for example this yellow could be different rooms that I want so bedroom, kitchen and then the rest of it's open plan and then this little dot could represent where I want the doorway to be and then this orange here, I should probably add another two of these just to keep it consistent. This orange out here could be like to make a deck outside for putting furnaces and make it look like an outdoorsy type area and like maybe a suburban neighborhood. Anyway, that is, that's sort of layouts for you. And uh, a layout is a very important part of the build. But it helps you ground your idea into reality. For this castle, I did just wing it, but um, this one took more planning, uh, the one over here, I think it's a great example to show off a build that I've already done, um, this B Palace one, um, now, you, you'll notice, uh, stuff that we're gonna get to, and stuff that we're gonna do in separate episodes, uh, of this show, but for now, I just wanna go over the shape of the building, now, these are towers and walls, that's all there is to it so far, and of course I need to change this from stone to be a mix of stone and design and cobblestone to give it that texture which we'll also go into in another video but these here are the towers I did a plan for a singular tower which I started with this one here this was my uh, basic tower that I planned with I built up um, a certain amount uh, and filled in the gaps with the sort of color scheme of the actual beehive in Minecraft using different blocks to build up the sort of different colors in that and from there I split it across walls there's been several iterations of this front wall uh, originally there was one that went up to that uh, um, 
this brown line here rather than the one below it so it was a lot taller and it didn't look as good uh, but I think we're at a perfect mid-ground now and then from there I went out and did diagonals which are, are actually fairly new to me I'm not really good with diagonals and then of course I kept doing diagonals and more curved uh, and overall it turned out really good but it's uh, that's why you need to sort of have like a basic plan when you're gonna start out a building like this okay, that is that is layout so let's move on to the next part Now, the next part here is build your shape. Now, you may ask what the difference between a layout or building a shape is, and to be honest, there isn't too many differences for layout and building your shape. A layout is where you think you want to put things. Uh, building the shape of the build is much the same, but it's more going in depth with the shape. So as you can see here, the shape, yes, is different um, in that, and isn't just a complete square, but say this bit came all the way up here. Let's say that this orange bit here is red, you've got a basic square, and squares aren't very good um, in terms of Minecraft builds. You can get away with a square base, it just won't look fabulous. They won't, it won't look as nice as it would if you were doing a base with a different shape, sort of like the original shape here, but even then that still wouldn't look absolutely fabulous, which is why I bring you to sort of different shapes here. This is just a basic L shape, and this already gives you a, a d two different sets of roofs if you really want to you could add a tower bit up into the middle of this one if you wanted to or you could just go with your classic sort of l-shaped roof where it curves at the center here and stays normal and then on this one as a little bit of a variation i've also added in the fact that you can have a little basement cellar type thing in case of like emergencies in real life you'd have these for like tornadoes and stuff but you can also have these in minecraft even if it is just for aesthetic or maybe you want to use it as a storage spot in a base that isn't going to be very big you can always have one of them and um that's just a basic shape as well and then to show off the fact that you could do different shapes all together i've come along and i've made this very different shaped type one i suppose you could say where um this bit here would have a different roof to this bit here and it, this bit here over here might even have a different roof to both of these bits so overall you get three different shapes or slants and roof style and such and uh, it, also it's good to remember that you don't have to use the same roof style throughout the entirety of the build roofs are something we're going to get to and i probably the next episode if not the episode after that but for now, this is the one that we're going to uh, stick. This is a good shape. Uh, and then, of course, if you if you really want to, you can go for something crazy and you could do a diagonal in your builds. Or, um, yeah, they're all sort of diagonals. Um, diagonals are a lot harder to build with. I'm not particularly the best with diagonals. That's probably my best build with diagonals I've ever built. Um, I'm not the greatest with diagonals. Um, not many people really are so diagonals are a, a lot harder than anything else and um yeah so i'd highly recommend only doing diagonals if you think you're up for a challenge or if you're fairly skilled at building uh personally myself i as much as i want to say i would dabble with um some diagonals because of that build over there i i wouldn't do diagonals on a house or a building um with a roof that I was planning on doing in the sort of uh, A-frame or Victorian style. I'd, I'd uh, probably only do them in sort of castle walls or ones where I'm going to be doing it as like a sort of a street and the roofs are going to be flat, um, like uh, certain shops and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good and useful to have um, those different options of shapes. So just a basic sort of an L shape with a underground build you can always build off on that and make it more of a t shape or even an f shape if you really wanted to i've never personally seen anyone build in those styles but they could be quite interesting uh this shape here which i actually really quite like and i might build something in this shape another day and then of course there's also this odd shape here which i just made to show off the diagonal and sort of less diagonal but yet still diagonal shapes so that's sort of, um, yeah, that's sort of that stuff. Um, anyway, we should move on to our next segment. Our next segment is picking a palette. Now, 
a, a palette in sort of like building is the same as a palette in painting. I'm not sure if you're familiar with a palette in painting or if you, if you do art or something like that, but a palette is um, the sort of the colors. As you can see in my Minecraft skin here, just by looking at um, the, the B uh, shirt that I'm wearing under the overalls, the B uh, shirt has several different shades of yellow and uh, uh, it's got the brown in it and it's got, yeah, so it's got different tones and uh, a tone and shade and all that are all they all play into a palette now a palette isn't necessarily just different shades of a block a palette is all sorts of different blocks or colors that work well together uh, for example with just this chicken here red goes quite nicely with white and you can see that in the chicken and the, the yellow seems to go quite well with the red and the white so therefore it's a rounded palette so you could say that this chicken has a different color palette to say the sheep and the cow and that and of course that's going to be true because the sheep has a, a white and tan and pink palette whereas this one has a white brown and pink palette um and they they all change of course and i've, I've made eight different block palettes to show off some of my favorite sort of color combinations that i've um seen used or have used personally myself um, so I'll just give you a quick little overview of these and just explain sort of situations where you could use these The first palette that I use far too often is Victorian and I think the best uh, Examples of this is in my survival world um, The my house all the houses in the shopping district have this Victorian theme to them next we have the uh, Meadow Castle, which is um <coughs> <coughs> Um, totally haven't been building it in a stream for ages, but we've got spruce. I didn't add dark oak in here because I forgot about that. Uh, all these sort of colors all work together and quite well in a palette and um, that as well. Uh, then there's a desert palace, which I personally haven't built with this palette, but I thought it looked quite good when I was mucking around with palettes earlier today, um, trying to think of stuff I could use um, and stuff like that. And then the next palette is Oasis. I just couldn't spell Oasis. This one's quite nice. It's basically just building off the Desert um, Palace one. You've got your basic sort of Desert Palace stuff. But if you want, if you really wanted to make it that much nicer and that much greener, you add in th the three green blocks and sort of pink ones, and you can add in yellow. And it, if you build like flowers and that out of the stuff, or maybe you want to build the cherry blossom tree and stuff. It, it, it brings to the build. It, re it really does affect it in ways that um, look really well. Uh, and then I have, personally, one of my other favourite ones. Victorian is good. This is... So as good as Victorian is, this is almost true Victorian, I guess. This is sort of perfect for doing a street in London. Uh, as you can tell by it being called 221B Baker Street. Now, you may have seen my survival series. I literally have all of Baker Street is mainly these... And then I've added in these ones because they could help make it look nice. And a lot of the cobbled deep slate and deep slate and basalt and smooth basalt and all that, all those blocks are actually used for the pathway in, um, well, not the pathway, but the um, road in Baker Street. And it, it brings a certain aspect to the build where it just looks really nice. And uh, I think personally it's it's a really good um, palette to build, go with. And then... Um, there's also uh, Pumpkin Manor, which is based off a uh, Pinterest picture um, of a sort of manor that I saw. I'll put it up on screen now. Um, and it's just, it, it was really eye-catching um, to me, and I think it's a really good um, sort of color palette. I'm not going to steal off this build, but I am going to try and do something very similar to that build um, in a live stream maybe one day. Or maybe in a video, um, who knows. Uh, then there's uh, Toxic Waste, which is just a, I, I, I call it Toxic Waste, it's just sort of all sort of bleak, darker colours, and also the slime gives it the sort of feeling of um, it being sort of sludge, I guess, so, and then the last palette that I did um, was the Mushroom Cave. Now, I just, I really, I have to be honest, I wanted to pay homage to uh, quite, a, quite a few of my friends, like the whole mushroom build style palette and stuff like that you yeah quite a few of my friends do like that um i can think of one in particular but i don't say friends names on this channel even though i'm having flashbacks to several times that i've done that but um just for now i won't but um the red the whites they all say they all go really well with these wood colors here and then if I, i've given it the cave aspect because i wanted to have sort of blocks 
to just show off the fact that it is possible to have a color palette even while being in a cave and um the woods go really nicely with these sort of colors here and they actually blend well with the um stones as well and everything helps everything helps each other and um your lighting and where you place your lighting uh in your build will also uh change the way that the palette looks as well um if you place a, li a light source block on every other block in your build then of course everything's going to be very light but it, it also won't look very good because uh torches on everything or um covering everything with a light block is gonna either cover up everything or you're gonna have a wooden stick on everything which isn't particularly good it's not just a matter of um sort of just choosing a pellet to use in your build it's a matter of when you're building it also placing out a pellet like i have it placed out here um uh, i'll be able to show that off actually for this building over here the um the castle the meadow castle type thing i placed down a block pallet i thought about the block pallet a lot i put this one dripstone block here as i placed this here as a sort of like a will i won't i type block we ended up landing on probably not using that one because i don't think i need to make more edits to this place um and the uh, overall um I'm, I'm quite happy with all of these um blocks and textures and stuff Right, and so the final category uh, in here is test your build, or uh, it says test build on the chest, but test your build. Um, it's what I have this world here for, is my build testing world. As you can see, I tested that build before I did it. If I had just gone into that build blind um, and gathered a bunch of resources and tried to build it, it wouldn't have turned out as good as it did. Originally, actually, I don't know if it happened in stream or not, if it did, then uh, I'll I, I might add it on here, but originally this building didn't have these um these lines of sprucing here. It was originally just all copper. And looking back on it, I am so glad that I added the the stripes onto it. And that's what the point of having a test world and just testing your builds in general. Um, that's that's what good comes from it. If you test your build you're more likely to like them when you rebuild them in survival even if there are differences you are more likely to like them so i thought just as a little bit of a thing for you guys i'm gonna i'm gonna quickly build just a front face of a build uh using the um pumpkin manor i'm pretty sure this is the pumpkin manor one using the pumpkin manor uh palette uh, i'm just gonna build a quick little front design for a sort of a house with this color palette and um from there we'll just discuss um how a test world really helps rather than just going straight into a survival world and trying to build one of your designs Now, I'm not 100% happy with this, I have to be honest, it's definitely not the bestest thing I could have built. Um, but I didn't want to be stuck here building for the rest of the day, um, because I have to stream today. Uh, I have to stream Minecraft and then I have to stream Spider-Man, I have a lot to do. So I didn't want to be building all day 
I, I also have to design design that over the air and I don't want to work myself out too much uh, in terms of Minecraft stuff. So this is the little design that I've come up with for now. It is by no means it is not a great design. I, I have to be honest. Um, I do quite like it, but it could be way better. For example, on this side here, uh, on the inside actually, it shows off best. You do a gradual sort of an incline in your colors um, until you hit the roof. Now, of course, there's several things that I can point out about this. The roof is too low down. I think that's that's one of the main points. Uh, roofs need to be fairly high up on the build, especially in the sort of style that I decided to build my roof in. Uh, this one, not so much. This one's actually quite fine, but having a two block center is... Oh, it's rough. It's... Uh, I, I don't really like having a two block center. If I wanted to do that better, I would have moved it out by one and given it a one block center. It's like the taller one. Um, and uh, all together, I just think that it could have been a lot better, but in terms of just doing the face of a build, this isn't half bad. Um, this is a pretty good one, actually. Um, the staircase, of course, probably could have been not as big, and maybe I would have even done a bit of a bigger one. But I tell you what, we'll come back next time, uh, and this can be sort of what we work with. I'll build this up a bit better, I'll make it look a lot better, I'll round it off before I record next episode. Um, and I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do the actual entirety of the actual thing itself. Um, and next week we'll cover, um, exterior design, um, in terms of adding windows and all that sort of stuff to it. Um, and, um, just making your outside of your build look absolutely phenomenal. And, uh, yeah, that'll be next week. So, I hope you guys all really enjoyed the first episode of Build School, Build Tips, whatever this series ends up becoming called. Probably just Build School, it's the only thing I can think of. Uh, maybe Build Academy. That could work quite well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the, uh, information palette-wise and shape-wise and just discovering a theme that you really want to roll with helps you guys to make a great Minecraft build um, that, that you're happy with. Because um, that is the main thing here. I just want you guys to be able to make Minecraft builds that you're happy with. And uh, actually, you know what? Why not? Let's go with this. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, why not consider subscribing? And uh, also, if you made it this far in, how about... Um, I, I have my Instagram and Twitter up on the screen now. If you tweet me or um, send me a picture of your build that you've built using this video with the hashtag um, Litten Squad Build School, um, I will check them out and I'll, um, I'll comment on them and I'll tell you how much I like them. Because for all I know, you might build something absolutely phenomenal that I might absolutely love. So, with that all said, and with that all out of the way, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Uh, it's new for me, and uh, I'm enjoying it. And um, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!